Well, today I discovered this uh, wonderful website called Screencast Omatic. So that's screencast o matic.com. And to be quite honest with you, this is going to be one of the best things I've ever seen. I mean, it's the ultimate use and the most stable use I've ever seen of JavaScript. Um, one of my biggest problems was that um, you set up like a window here on the screen. So what you're looking at is not the whole screen. And I was wondering, can you, um, what I was doing is I was pausing the video and then moving the window and then restarting the recording and pausing it and restarting to show like an on-screen demonstration. And then, um, you know, what a fool I am. I mean, really, because at the very bottom left-hand corner, uh, just to the left of the pause button, there are three little white lines on the Nikon, which obviously I can't show you because that's in the window as I speak. Um, but you can actually drag it around the screen whilst recording. And this is the first time I've tried this. See, there we go. Look, we're going over there. See, this is my whole screen now. We're doing it slowly and quite quickly um, so yeah it's just one of the main things I found at the, at first to be problematic really if you like it was like I was actually pausing it for the bit in the center of the window to actually come up and say mm, you know drag here to move the window so I was going onto a website and the bit I wanted people to view wasn't um, we're in the window but basically uh, you can do it on the fly as it's called and I can move it around now uh, well I'll show you what I'm going to do we go up here say to Google it's one of the best bits of software I've ever met see now here I am there's how it comes up and I can just move it in I can type in um, whatever I want uh, team viewer Um, like so, and again you see the window is offset, but I can just drag it across the screen to say here's the top of Google, if you click on teamviewer.com uh, and here's the window again, but if you go above this window up here you'll get on the download tab in the top right hand corner and again we can just drag it down to show you what's there so here we are at team viewer you've got the full version um, you've got the additional down and another thing i love if you click outside of the window you can actually scroll the web page without moving um screen matic recording window so all i'm doing here is leaving the window alone just scrolling around or vice versa i can keep the screen static and move around here like this see there we go with the screen so um yeah i just thought i'd highlight that little feature that i think very unknown about um screen matic is you can actually drag the capture area during recording and to be quite honest like i said i've been into I know what I'm talking about. I repair computers for a living, etc. This bit of JavaScript, well, you know, it just wins hands down. So, and I'm um, setting up a new business with a friend of mine very soon. Um, and you know, as far as all this, you know, you know, recording what's on a screen, it seems a very simple task at first. You say to yourself well you know it's quite simple i'm just going to record my screen uh, which is obviously known as screen capture by the way and i've tried things like snag it which is a very popular program there's lots of them out there they don't cost that much normally 30 40 dollars something like that but you know what i mean for 12 dollars yes 12 dollars a year folks uh, <laughs> You've got a tool that's just so made for it. And another thing with the Pro version that I can't wait to preview um, 
is the whole idea that you can actually just click on straight off webcam. And it, this JavaScript, by the way, does it all. It uploads it onto YouTube. It can save it as a local file. I mean, you know, it, it, this is truly um, cloud computing near enough at its best, in, as far as I can see. The whole thing just does it from within your browser. There's no need to start running dodgy third party, badly written programs. Not that I'm saying that a lot of screen capture programs are, but they are. Um, you know, that calls blue screens of death, weird loads, wonderful weird drivers into your system. So in other words, they're running all the time in the background which could possibly cause instability, etc. But screen o matic well, you know, that's it folks, really. You know, there's no need to go any further than where we are because we're pretty much where you can be. Anyway, ta-ra, good luck.